Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at three different sounds using Vital's new update. Then we have the next one. And then the third one. So how do we go about creating these sounds? Well, it's quite easy. And um, before this update, I actually did the pretty much the same type of technique using image lines harmer for this. Um, but Vital can do very similar stuff uh, as I just showed you. Um, so in here we have actually four different new modes of what's called the spectral morph. Um, and it's basically data compress, spectral filter, flanger, and phaser. Um, we're going to go through the three last ones here by starting with the um, filter. So what you want to do is when you load it up like this, uh, you've got a little pencil over here. And by default, it's going to be a triangle wave. So it's going to sound something like this. Let's just take off the effect so we can hear it more clearly. So yeah. Um, Sounds like a ordinary bandpass sweep to my ears. But what makes it more interesting is if we go into the pencil here and we edit the shape. So let's do some weird shape, something like this maybe. So I don't know if you picked that up, but it sounds like when it goes up, it sounds like it, the harmonics are going like in reverse, and when it goes back down... It sounds like it's some kind of, I don't know, like a delay tail or something. Um, it feels like it has some kind of tail as it goes down through the each peaks. So what you can do is, if you sharpen these, if you make it more exponential the curves something like this and then you turn down the volume for each each peak like this you get this really nice sounding texture to it so let's just drag so it goes up and then back down Sounds like bouncing notes or something, which is pretty cool. Um, and the same thing goes for the flanger, for example. If you just flick through, it's going to save the shape that you just did. So... It's pretty cool. And the same thing goes also for the phaser. And I think this one is the one that sounds the coolest of them all. And let's try that with effects.
And lastly, which is also pretty nice with the phaser, you can emphasize certain frequencies so you can get these really inharmonic sounding stuff um, just as you can with the inharmonic stretch over here. However, you get quite different tone when you use a phaser instead. And you can like draw your own shapes, something like this, maybe. Let's just up the tempo a little bit. Which I find pretty cool. And like, as usual, you guys know that I love creating weight tables. So what you can do is, let's say, you like this timbre to it. Let's see. Maybe this one. You can just resynthesis a preset to wavetable and you got that. Now it's a single cycle waveform. And you can further have a play around with it. Try some harmonic stretching maybe. to like really go into detail and find the right timbre of the sound you're looking for. Let's try some data compress and see what that does. Not so much to this particular sound, but yeah, you get the point. Um, so super cool stuff so have a play with this and i'll see you in the next one